Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another haul video. This is a, a big uh, tub from my sister-in-law. These are always surprises. I just have no idea what's going to be in them. So we have some various and sundry textiles. I have, um, this is an eBay lot of silver jewelry. It's just a few pieces. Um, we have those little things back there. And then we have this mystery box. It looks like it hasn't been opened in a very long time. It's got all this yellowed newspaper. I, I found this one item. Why is everything so yellow? And um, so I guess we'll go from there. Okay. So um, I paid about $46 for this lot of jewelry, I think. And um, I was pretty pleased with it. They're very nice pieces. And um, the first thing is this pair of sterling silver. All of it's sterling silver, so I'll stop saying that. Um, little hoop earrings. It's very basic. I always, I love these kind of earrings that have the, the little clip that you put the post in. They're so easy to put on and they don't fall off. And let's see if it has any interesting marks on it. Um, I see 925. That's all I see. And let's see, we have another pair of little chubby hoops. These do have really, the posts are handmade and they're very large posts. Those can be problematic for people who have tiny ear holes, but uh, should be okay for most people. And these are marked. It looks like they say something on them. I have no idea what that says. That says, oh, I think it's just the back side of 95. That's what that is. So these also say 95. And then this, which is just such a beautiful color. I just love this kind of, such a bright, not quite teal, it's turquoise. But anyway, nice little tennis bracelet. And let's see if this has any interesting marks on it. Um, no, it just says 95. And then we have this cute little bow brooch. Kind of 1940s looking. Uh, looks like the clasp is handmade. be Mexican silver. That might be an eagle, but it's pretty, pretty, um, smushy looking, so I can't see it. It does say 925, and it has an, some kind of maker mark, but can't really make it out. But, it's very cute. And then, lastly, we have this little wreath brooch. Very nice for the holidays. And this is um, it's oh my gosh I've forgotten the name of the maker I had it in my head and it's gone it says JJ but it's not Jeanette jewelry it's um I'll write it in but it's a, a very well well known maker and that will help I think. It's got little marcasites, little marcasites and red enamel and it's very sweet. Okay, um, that's it for the silver and I'm going to move to the textiles. If I can get them over here without knocking the tripod over. Ooh, this is a very large piece of upholstery. Can you see it? <laughs> It's really heavy, so, um, but it's got green and red and orange and kind of a, well, the back side is very bright, but the front side is kind of muted. And there's a lot of it here. This is enough to do, I don't know, at least a chair, maybe a sofa. So that's a lot of upholstery fabric. It's really heavy. It's going to be hard to nail, too. Okay, push that off. 
Okay, then we have this, um, looks like part of a saltillo blanket, or a, and it's like a saltillo blanket fabric, though. I don't think it's a real saltillo blanket. It's printed like one. It's very pretty. Those would make some nice pillows. been block printed or screen printed or something, some kind of labor intensive printing process. And it's a narrow strip, so I'm not sure what you do with this. Make a valence out of it, I guess. There's one piece, there's two pieces, okay, so there's two pieces of that. And then we have a little apron. This is too cute. That's very, very cute. Very uh, 1940s, 1950s maybe. Um, it's, the colors are still really vibrant. The fabric, the white is a little bit yellowed though. So I don't know what to do about that. Um, maybe try it in some linen wash. Let's see if I can get that to come out. Okay, this looks like some ecot woven fabric. I don't know where it's from. It's very hot here today. I'm looking a little melted. We're just getting ready to have the remnants of Hurricane K come through, so it's kind of oppressive and muggy and weird weather for us, but well, this is very pretty. This is a lightweight, make a nice um, blouse or something. Okay, and here is some more ecot. This is, uh, might be silk, it might be something else. And we have to do some testing on this to try and figure out what it is. It doesn't quite feel like silk. It feels more like a synthetic. But it's got that really pretty flame stitch on it. Hmm. Okay. And oh, please don't tip over. Okay. This looks to be a tablecloth. I love it's a it's a linen um, the mask, and I love the color, and it looks like it's got some buildings on it. This is really unusual. You can see it better on this side. Yeah, I probably should have set this up in the kitchen where I could spread it out and you could see it better, but yeah, you can see that. Isn't that cool? Okay, we've got a little, it's just a little lint or something. Looks, I don't see any stains right now. I haven't inspected it thoroughly, but interesting. I wish I knew what these buildings were. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out once I spread it all out. But that's kind of neat. Okay, this is another piece of upholstery fabric. Oh, it's not pretty, but it's just a little Remnant, great for making some pillows. These would make beautiful, beautiful pillows. That's very cool. And then this, I haven't opened this up to see what it is. It looks like maybe it's a bedspread with delay crochet and fabric. Oh my goodness, this is really beautiful. This looks like somebody's wedding present. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Oh, I hope it's in good shape. That's just, oh my gosh. Can you imagine the hours it took to make this? 
On this part, it's got some embroidery. See here. And there's an edge. So yeah, this is a bedspread. Oh, so pretty. Oh, there's a little stain. Ah, just a little one. Ah, but doesn't have any others. Hmm. Okay, this is our last piece of fabric. Or whatever this is. Yeah, it looks like fabric. Fabric remnant of some kind. And it looks like from India, maybe. It's got the little shisha, little mirrors embroidered in. Again, this would be really great for pillows. Yeah. Quite a bit of it here. Make a lot of pillows from this. Very cute. Okay, that is it for the upholstery. Now, let's get to this box. So, this, it says bitty glasses and it also says teeny drink glasses. So, this is the first one that I just opened it to see if that was still true and apparently it is. So, these are little um, liqueur glasses, I guess, that are etched. I don't know how well you can see, but they really are pretty. Very beautiful etching on there. Tiny, tiny. Wow. Let's see if that's all that's in here, because I think I saw something like this. It's clearly not a glass. And I think, yep, it's a coin. <laughs> um, let's see, this appears to be a 1925 silver dollar. Yep, that's what it is, all right. So, I confess, I did open that. So I know of those two things. But the rest really is a mystery. So, let's see what we got. This is probably another glass. Oh, but it, they're different. It's a different one. I wonder if she has like a collection of these or something. Goodness, there's some debris in here. So this one's different. These are so cute. Okay. And what do we have here? Nope, this one's this one's still different. This is like a tiny little red wine glass. I wonder how long these have been here. I mean, look at this newspaper, how yellowed it is. This has been packed away for decades, I bet. Because um, these are from Bob's sister, Marion, and she's been in that house for longer than Rob and I have been together, so that's you know, more than 20 years. a different one. Aren't these cute? Gosh, I, I have no idea who the maker is. I don't even know how to find out. Okay, I have found two that are alike. This is the little, the little bulbous one. first one I showed you with the etching on it. Okay. And this 
matches, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to turn this off, and then I'll show you when I get them all unwrapped. Okay, so here are all of the little glasses. We have six of these with the etching on them. We have six of these. These have got kind of a thumbprint pattern on the bottom and a chunky little stem. Only one of these. And then we have three of these that look like little red wine glasses. <laughs> and then we have four of these. Which have a very pretty stem. So liqueur or cordial glasses. Um, I guess I, I, I don't know how to find out who made them or anything. So I guess I'll just try to sell them in sets and see what happens. Okay, so the last thing I have to show you are these wonderful Mexican pottery. Um, she was using them as a candle holder. Kind of, you could do a little shrine in these. But see, they've got these beautiful birds on them and handles. These look really old. I don't know. But they need some cleaning. They're really dirty. But we have a red one and we have... A blue one. Blue one also has pretty birds on it. So, so they have stands for the candles, so I guess they're meant to put candles in. Really cool. And I believe that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, these items are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at VintageDazzle.Etsy.com or in my, uh, the fabric will go into my craft store which has handmade items and craft supplies and that is KarenLebo.Etsy.com. The links to both of the stores are down in the description and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, I am not doing very many videos these days but I'm going to crank it back up pretty soon. I just um, had to take a break from it. So, I guess that's it. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Bye.